Trekker? Yes, ma'am. I studied my Octo Manual all month, and all last night, plus during breakfast. The only thing I don't understand is why a Polar Scout like me needs to learn about the desert. To be an Octo Agent, you need to be prepared for anything. You're used to working in the freezing cold of the Arctic, but... Can you take the heat? Where the swirling sand chokes the breath out of you. The blazing hot sun dries you up like a year-old raisin. And every strange beast that lives there is after just one thing. Sunscreen? Nope. Water. That's the one thing nobody can live without in the desert. Not even a pirate. Now for your test. What is the test exactly? You and Quasi must find water in the desert by the time the sun sets. I'll drop you off here, and I'll be able to track you through your Octo watches. Just in case something goes wrong. Don't worry, an Octo agent is always prepared. That's the spirit. So long, Dashy. Matey, what are you doing? Oh, checking the map section to find the nearest water hole? <laughs> Hand it over. Of course. I'll just use the map on my Octo watch. Listen, an Octo agent doesn't need books or fancy doodads to find water. All he needs is his eyes and his ears and... Uh... Elephants! Huh? Elephants can smell where water is with their trunks. Just like it says in the creature section of the desert chapter in the manual. Page 43, right? Uh, right. Like I was saying, follow those elephants. What's that? To mind? <laughs> no, matey. I'm Quasi, and this is Tracker. Hi. My name's Goldie. I just left my burrow for the first time, and I've been swimming through the sand all night. Swimming? Yep. That's what we golden moles do when we're looking for termites. Those are the bugs we like to eat. Well, not looking so much as listening. You see, I can't see. Right. I read about golden moles on page 51. You can't see, but you have extra special hearing. Especially when you put your head in the sand. Wait a minute. Do I hear... Termites! I hear some! Maybe. Good to go. Hydrology log. It's the dry season here in the East African savannah, and it's definitely looking dry. But there are still some green trees and shrubs around this area. And my soil samples are gravelly. These are both signs of possible water underground. Still, most of the plants are awfully dried out. One spark of lightning and the whole area could go up in flames. Run! Oh, oh, no, 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 no. What's going on? There's a scary creature by the watering hole just past those bushes. It's got really sharp teeth and big sharp claws. Keeps chasing us away from the watering hole. Ah! Ah! Run! Ah! Better check out this ferocious beast. Oh, excuse me, little fellow. Who are you calling, little buster? My name's Barney, actually. Have you seen the scary creature that frightened off those others from this watering hole? <laughs> That's me. Name's Debbie. Those others kept trying to use my watering hole, so I chased them off. Why? There's more than enough water here for everyone to share. Yeah? Well, Debbie says, so what? Honey badgers don't share. Now, go away! Whoa! Oh. Mm. Uh, look, Debbie, is it? I think we just got off to a bad start. Here, have a Barney patty. It's my own special recipe of nuts, seeds, and bugs. Bugs? Honey badgers love bugs. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh. There. Now that I've shared my snacks, maybe you can share this watering hole. <laughs> hmm. Might need a little help with this one. Better sound the octo alert. <laughs> Agent 
Harney. Report, please. Captain, I could use some help with a tough-talking honey badger. Her name's Debbie, and she keeps chasing other creatures away from the local watering hole. And it's the dry season, so the animals really need water. Well, honey badgers do have a reputation for being fierce and never backing down, even from much larger creatures. But it is strange she won't leave. Honey badgers normally search for food over a large area. Hmm. If the honey badger won't leave, maybe we can dig another watering hole for the others. Splashing idea, Tweak. I can't be certain, but based on my research, it seems there may be an aquifer close by. A what kind of fur? An aquifer is a layer of water that can be found underground. So if you can find that water and dig down to it, we'll have another watering hole. Nothing's better at digging than the Terragub 2, Cap. And if there's water underground, I'll find it. <sighs> oh, dear. Empty already. Uh, quicksand! Ha! Good thing I'm quicker, but I'd better keep moving before this desert eats me too. Huh. What's this? A rescue party? Hello? Over here! Who are you and what are you doing way out here? Uh, my name is Pani. I was trying to find water. Then you're going the wrong way, dear. Uh, but what about that lake? That? That is just an illusion. A mirage. It is not really there. Sometimes, when the sunlight reflects off the hot desert sand, it can ripple and look like water. No wonder I couldn't reach it. I've heard of mirages, but I don't spend much time in the desert, so I've never actually seen one before. So, there's really no water out here? Oh, there's plenty of water. You just need to know where to look. Stick with us, and we'll show you where to find some. Thank you, my new friends. I am most grateful. Tweak to Captain Barnacles. No sign of Pawnee here. Thanks for the update, Tweak. Keep searching. Oh, my goodness. It's toasty out here. But you camels seem so cool. Don't you ever get hot? Of course we do. But it doesn't bother us. We're built for the heat. Our humps act like a blanket to help protect us from the sun. We've also got three eyelids and two rows of eyelashes to shield us from the sand and glare. Oh, amazing! Oh, wait. I think I see something up ahead. You're right. That's where we'll find water. Here, try some. Thank you. Ow! It's full of thorns. Yes, but there is water in the leaves. Oh, of course. But how can you eat this with all these thorns? Our lips are thick and tough, so thorns don't bother us. We are used to eating them. Unfortunately, I'm not. Still, if there's water in those leaves, it must be coming from somewhere. <laughs> What's she doing? Ah, hello, H2O. You were hiding down there all this time. H2O? Yes. That's the scientific word for water. Oh. How did you know it was there? Plants need water to live too. This plant's roots draw water up from under the ground. I knew if I dug down far enough, I'd find some. Very clever. Would you like a sip? No, thank you. Those plants probably need it more than we do. And we need them to be here the next time we come through. Are you sure you got enough water? We camels can make a little go a long way. Besides, there's a nice big oasis not far from here. Hello there. Woo-hoo! That was some fancy flying. I'm just glad we got out of the way in time. Were any of you hurt? We're fine. Just a little startled is all. Sorry if our swarm surprised you. Whoa! That's the biggest butterfly I've ever seen. <laughs> Dad's not a butterfly, it's the Octoray. And we're the Octonauts. My name's Tweak, and that there is Dashi and Peso. Nice to meet you. You're pretty big for a butterfly, too. That's because I'm a monarch butterfly. We're one of the biggest kind of butterflies. <laughs> now, stop bending the nice ladies here, little brother. We've got to keep the swarm moving if we're going to get to Mexico. Mexico? 
That's a long way away. Sure is. We monarch butterflies spend the summers as far north as Canada. But when the weather starts to cool down, we head south to spend our winters in the mountains of Mexico, where it's nice and warm. We stuck around longer because the weather was so warm this year. But now we're way behind schedule. Now, let's quit yapping and start flopping. Oh, do we have to? I'm tired and hungry. I know you are, little brother, but we've got to get there before the storm catches us. Mind if we take along? We're looking out for storms too, especially tornadoes. And we could help you avoid them with our storm tracker. Well, that ought to come in handy. Let's fly! <laughs> yeah! <sighs> Time for a rest. I wasn't expecting a cookout, but luckily, I got the right tool for the job. Anyone want some more of my famous chuck wagon kelp cake chili? Oh, no thank you. I couldn't eat another bite. Butterflies don't eat chili, or kelp, or chuck wagons. There used to be plenty for us to eat out here. Milkweed flowers with sweet nectar as far as the eye could see. But now, they're all dried up. I'm hungry. We'll be in Mexico before you know it, little brother. And then we'll have everything a monarch butterfly needs to eat. Now, get a good night's sleep, because we've got a long day of flying tomorrow. Fine, but I'm still hungry. To the Octoray. Wow, look at that. I'm Captain Barnacles. I like to go with the flow. Above and beyond! <laughs> <laughs>